Hello friends, today we are going to discuss generation of AM waves. In previous uh, lectures we are discussing about uh, modulation, types of modulation, amplitude modulation, in time domain description and frequency domain description. Again, single true frequency and uh, power calculations of AM wave are discussed. Now, this is the time how to generate AM wave. So generally, we use two modulators to generate amplitude signal. They are one is a square law modulator and second one is a switching modulator. One is a square law the switch switching modulator. So here we use one device, either diode or transistor is used for to operation of these uh, modulators. That is, we are going to generate AM signal by using these devices. But generally, we use diode. Okay. Now let us start a uh, square law. Modulator. So, in the square law modulator, we are having uh, three parts mainly. One is a uh, summer, second one is a uh, square law device, and third one is band pass filter. So, for summer, we are giving M of T, message signal, and C of T, that is a uh, carrier. Already know M of T, which is equal to AM cos 2 pi FMT. C of T, which is equal to AC cos 2 pi FCT. These two is uh, applying to the sum. So generally, for a square law monitor, having three blocks. The first block is summer. Second block is uh, Square law device, and another one is a band pass filter. So, but practically, here is shown like that. Too. And this uh, picture we're having a carrier monitoring signal M of T is going to apply to a nonlinear device as input of V1 of T. So, V1 of T, which is equal to this M of T plus. Uh, C of T. So that is a uh, uh, addition of uh, message signal plus carrier signal is equal to V1 of T. This V1 of T is applying to nonlinear device. And the right hand side of this nonlinear device, which is equal to what you call the band pass filter. And finally, getting output is V naught of T. So here, what a consists of the elements or important blocks of square law modulator: summer, nonlinear device, band pass filter. Okay. So let the modulating signal and carrier signals as M of T and C of T. These two signals are applied as the inputs. To the summer block. The summer block produces an output which is the addition of modulating and the carrier signal. So mathematically we can write uh, it as uh, V1 of T which is equal to M of T plus AC cos 2 pi FCT. Okay. So now this signal V1 of T is applied to an input to a nonlinear device like diode. So here the characteristics of the diode are closely related to square law. So using this is square law characteristic, this diode, there is nothing but V2 of T is equal to 
k1 v1 of t plus k2 v1 square of t. So where k1, where k1 and k2 are constants. Okay, so here we're taking uh, the diode plastics. Now we are going to substitute v1 of t, the above equation. Uh, well, we will get v2 of t is equal to k1 v1 of t. v1 of t is m of t plus ac cos 2 pi fct plus k2 v1 square of t. So again m of t plus ac cos 2 pi fct whole square. Okay. Then v2 of t which is equal to k1 m of t plus k1 ac 2 pi fct plus k2 m2 m square of t. Why? In the previous uh, equation we are going to uh, square v1 now v1 square of t. So we are going to a plus b whole square. Similarly it is a plus b whole square. So it is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So we are going to expand the equation to get uh, in the words k2 m square of t a square plus k2 ac square cos square 2 pi fct that is uh, b square plus 2ab 2 k2 m of t ac cos 2 pi fct therefore v2 of t which is taking a, a common of a k1 ac of cos 2 pi fct so finally we are uh, giving in the form of uh, uh, there is a uh, amplitude modulated signal. So we are rearranging the above equation. So the last term of the above equation represents the desired AM wave. So here again go for the previous equation in that last two terms. Last term that is a K1 AC of 1 plus 2k2 by k1 m of t cos 2 pi fct. So similarly it is ac of 1 plus k m of t cos 2 pi fct. k a m of t cos 2 pi fct. That is a standard amplitude equation. And the remaining parts are going to uh, filter by this bandpass filter. Why? In the square law modulator we are having uh, three parts. One is summer Second one is an only device, and third one is a bandpass filter. So the bandpass filter is going to filter all these terms, only getting the last one. So the output of a square law modulator is a soft T, which is equal to K1 AC of 1 plus 2 K2 by K1 M of T cos 2 pi AFCT. So the standard equation is S of t is equal to AC of 1 plus K M of t cos 2 pi FCT. So similarly we are getting that one where K is average sensitivity. So finally uh, you can get that uh, equation from that uh, bandpass filter. So this is a square law modulator. That means here we are using uh, that square like acoustic of the diode. Why? Because of the low amplitude, the diode work as a square lock casting. For higher amplitudes, it is a linear, piecewise linear casting. So we're using that diode casting, getting this square lock modulator. In the next, we're coming for switching modulator. So this is a Diagram of the switching modulator. Here also same. There is a summer. This uh, nonlinear device, and uh, another one is a bandpass filter. But here the diode is not as a worker as nonlinear. It is here piecewise, piecewise linear casting. So in that graph, they given V one. We draw a graph between v1 and v2 here the slope is given as 1 so it indicates there is a linearity between 
V1 of t and V2 of t. What is V1 of t? V1 of t is the input to the diode. What is the sum of M of t plus carrier? And V2 of t is the output of the diode. So here we use the piecewise linear characteristic of the diode using. So here C of t, C of t, what is C of t? Is a carrier signal. Generally we said the carrier signal is greater than in amplitude and frequency than the modulating signal or message signal. So this C of t drives to that diode. If C of t is greater than 1, the diode is forward by us. Then you get V2 of t is equal to V1 of t. So that's why it's getting slope 1 characteristic. If C of t is less than 0, C of t is less than 0, then the diode is reverse bias. So there is a output. So V2 of t is 0. So this is a switching modulator working principle. Okay, coming to the next slide. So here the switching modulator diode is to operate an ideal switch. So this is the main blocks of the switching modulator. What I tell there is a summer switching diode band pass filter. Whereas in square law, the switching diode which works as a nonlinear device. That is a, we are using it a nonlinear casting. Whereas here in switching modulator, we use this uh, ideal switching casting of the diode is used. Okay, so V1 of t is equal to M of t plus C of t. Here also you can write V1 of t is equal to M of t plus C of t. So M of t is already know that is a message signal or modulating signal. It is AM cos 2 pi FMT plus C of t. C of t is a carrier signal AC cos 2 pi AFCT. So this combined signal is applied to the diode. Okay. So the magnitude of the modulating signal is very small when compared to the amplitude of the carrier signal AC. So the diode on and off action is controlled by the carrier. So already shown in that uh, uh, graph, we drawn a graph between V2 and V1. So that is the casting, that is uh, the output of the diode is V2 of t which is equal to V1 of t if C of t is greater than 0. Otherwise, uh, C of t is less than 0, the output is 0. So that is uh, the output of the diode V2 of t varies periodically between the values of V1 of t and uh, 0 at a rate equal to the carrier frequency Fc is equal to 1 by t naught. So we can approximate this as V2 of t is equal to V1 of t into g t naught of t. So here taken as a periodic pulse triangle. That is a rectangular pulse triangle with the periodic equal to T naught is equal to 1 by Fc. So V2 of T is equal to M of T plus AC cos 2 pi Fct, Fct into GT or naught of T. So in this uh, picture we can see that uh, uh, GT naught of T, the rectangular pulse triangle. So we are going to apply in Fourier series for this uh, rectangle pulse triangle. We get uh, g t of t is equal to 1 by 2 plus 2 by p, 2 by pi, summation of n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 by 2 n minus 1 cos of 2 pi f c of 2 n minus 1 of t. So we're going to apply n equal to 1, we get in this term. What is 1 by 2? plus 2 by pi cos of 2 pi fct. If n equal to 2, you get harmonic components. If n equal to 3, again harmonics. But you are not taking that uh, order of my components. You are taking only this uh, 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi cos 2 pi fct. So V2 of this is equal to 
m of t plus c of t into this uh, periodic pulse time or rectangular pulse time g2 of t. So substituting those values, getting v2 of t is like that. Is like that. Okay. So v2 of t is equal to m of t by 2 plus 2 m of t by pi cos 2 pi f c t. And the meaning is uh, the pulse time, rectangular pulse time. So in this v2 of t, uh, the last term is a cos square term is there. So from trigonometric the cos square theta, which is you know that one plus cos two theta by two. So we are applying that formula again. That equation is rearranged like that. So v2 of t, which is equal to m of t by two plus two m of t by pi cos two pi f c t plus a c by two cos two pi f c t plus a c by pi plus a c by pi cos 4 pi f c t. Why? Because after this uh, uh, diode, we are having a band pass filter. So, this V2 of t is passing through the band pass filter. So, the band pass filter which filtered uh, the frequencies more than f c s. Okay. So, finally, the output of band pass filter we can write to v2 dash of t, which is equal to ac by 2 cos 2 pi fct plus 1 plus ka m of t. So similarly, this is also in the form of ac of 1 plus ka m of t cos 2 pi fct formula. That is the standard equation of amplitude modulated signal, where k is the amplitude sensitivity, its value can be taken as a 4 by pi ac. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.